<laughs> it is not going. <laughs> you are probably thinking, not why are you in your bathroom right now? Well, I gave it a little wash and now I'm literally blow drying it. It's full on, but it's so tempting to just buy more gym wear to just look cute. That's the only reason people are buying it, is to look cute and feel cute and feel good in their self. Just on that one thing, and then I feel like after you leave your sport, I had this like sort of grief. Like I, you do grieve because it's something that you've had in your routine for a majority of your life. channel i thought i would vlog some of this week i'm currently changing the color of my wall it was purple i put one undercoat of the seal on and i'm gonna put another undercoat over the top it's been drying for like a few days this is my cute outfit i actually love overalls they look so nice how cute is it? I'm like, I'm a trade, you know, guys. Come on, lads, let's go. <laughs> and I've got an accent. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna paint my wall. Because you put an under seal under the paint that you're going to put on your wall to get rid of like any of the strong color that you had there beforehand. Because I had purple, it's gonna need a couple coats. I don't want to buy paint because it's quite expensive and then cover my wall completely and realize you can still see the purple so you put some under seal underneath to block out the color yeah I don't know why I'm puffing I think it's because I just ran up the stairs with this paint <laughs> and this broom well I mean the roller I was impatient and I like washed my brush like a few days ago and it like dried really icy because it was outside and then I just rinsed it off just a little bit before I started painting and I knew like that was a terrible idea because it's going to be wet <laughs> so it's a little wet the paint but it's not too bad because it's the undercoat um, but when I do my actual proper painting I'll have to either just get a different roller and make sure it's completely dry before I start. previous way I did the whole wall before, how I painted the whole wall, was just with this. So I couldn't find the, the stick that we had, it was in the garage. But I just did it like this and this was actually kind of easier in a way because I could, I don't have that much room behind me. So it's hard to like use the long stick, especially down the bottom area. I'm just gonna use this brush and go into the sides of my walls. I put like masking tape around so it doesn't get onto my other walls. Hmm. I've also put masking tape on my architrave so it doesn't get on there. It's so much nicer painting like that. It's just satisfying. This is my first time painting a wall by myself. I'm just really painting a wall in general. So, 
fun bit. <laughs> This one, which is Antique White by Dual Lux. Hmm. I also like Natural White, which is this one. Yeah. But I don't want it to look too yellow. Snowy Mountains half looks good too. I'm going to go put them on my wall and see what it looks like. Trying to pick a colour. I have this one, which is antique white. It's giving like a slightly grey tinge. I'm not sure. And like the different lighting that comes into my room, it's tricky. Hmm. I'm kind of liking this one, the white polar. They've all got like a warm tinge to them. They're pretty similar. I reckon the white polar quarter. Mm. Do you like I go with the white polar quarter? Let's see how it goes. Just went to Bunnings and got antique white. That is what, well, am I helping my hand? <laughs> I got antique white paint because, oh! <laughs> it is not gone. <laughs> it is all in I the got cup. antique white because I had another look on my wall and it just has a nice and warmer tone. And then I got this, another like a roller because the other one was looking a bit like, grungy crispy looking <laughs> yeah but anyway so i'm gonna go go home now and i'm gonna paint my wall but a new roller as well but you have to rinse them beforehand which is annoying to get all like the loose fibers off but yeah so i'll be doing that it's so satisfying watching the paint get like shaken around in the machine it's so cool anyway let's go paint the wall you're probably thinking now, why are you in your bathroom right now? Well, I gave it a little wash and now I'm literally blow drying it because I want to paint my wall and I want to get it done and I want to set up my new bed that I bought. So I'm currently blow drying it. Who knows if that is the norm? Probably not, but I'm trying to speed up the drying process. <laughs> I'm so excited to paint and I'm a little nervous. 
I'm just like so keen to just do it. I feel like I should probably be waiting, but I'm a bit impatient. So we're gonna get into it. I ended up going with antique white. Can't really show it to you <laughs> without picking it out. Oh, she's nice. The roll is nice too. Oh, I like it. Oh, this roller is so much nicer because it's new. It's just soft. The paint is just flowing onto the wall. It's like really, it's a lot easier too. Like I'm, I don't have to push as hard. This is satisfying. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a lot more paint. Gotta open this window, otherwise I'm gonna be a bit high, oh, a bit high off the paint fumes. It goes on so much easier than the seal, like the under seal went on. I think it's the roller though. lighter the guy in the store showed me after it had been like shaken and I was like am I supposed to know like that looks like white to me like it's white um it's really hard to know between the difference between different whites especially when they just show you it in the tin I'm just gonna use the big stick to go over majority of the wall and then use the little one to do under, like at the bottom, and then use my brushes to cut in to the sides of my wall. Cause baby love definitely a workout just doing the cut-ins on the the bottom of the wall I feel like the color is quite light like it's quite white I don't see any of the warm tones in it yet I think maybe I might need to do another coat just to get the, the tones out and I feel like I still have a little bit of patchiness of the undertones like the seal that was underneath. got the MKPD Super Glow Golden Cups. It's like a dupe from the Drunk Elephant, which I've never tried the Drunk Elephant and I probably will in the future, but they just, I don't know, I can't think of how, like, I can't put towards that much money towards those drops.
decided to like sit on my bed and do some of my assignment on my laptop because the sun is coming through it's such a beautiful day outside and sitting at my desk looking at my big screen i'm not really keen to do it and i know that changing up where you're doing your assignments can help with like getting thoughts and getting the flow into doing it so i'm just changing up my position to sort of assist me with getting this assignment done because i'm really struggling with it um i think it's because it's just so much reading so little time and i really want to do well in it but i feel like i just can't take in this much information through reading i really need to be talking to someone about the topics and because I'm studying online, it's really hard to do that because I don't have anyone to really talk to except where I work and the teachers I work with, I can talk to them. But it's very different to actually talking to someone who's doing the same assignment and getting information that way because we're both sort of on the same page of what we need to do. So sometimes talking to people at work can confuse me more, but it's super beneficial to get their advice because I get little inklings of what I should add and stuff like that but it's just super super tricky studying online um I'm definitely enjoying it being online though in other ways like there's pros and cons like the pros are I can just watch the tutorials whenever but that is also a con because then you don't watch them like you forget about one or you don't like turn up to them when they're actually live and then you sort of fall behind um, especially if you have other things that are happening in your life and so that's sort of what I'm trying to figure out at the moment but I think if I'm going to sit here in the sun it'll be nice for a little bit probably won't be great on my back but it'll be a nice change of scenery and um, hopefully I can just get some of the readings done and get some information knock out the first part of the assignment which is a report we have to discuss and evaluate the theories of reading and how they inform practice but we have to also include diversity and um differentiation in the classroom so yeah i'm trying to do three theories discuss and evaluate what they are and also how they inform practice include diversity and differentiation it's like a big it's a big thing and they only want you to do it they want you to do this part and the second part which is two lesson plans they want you to do it in 3500 words and you're probably thinking that's a lot of words but that's really not when you think about talking about three theories how they inform practice diversity dif and differentiation and also two lesson plans where you have to talk about the lesson discuss what you're going to include in the lesson and then also discuss how you, your theories justify that lesson that's not a lot of words so I have to sort of cut down my report as well but I just need to get like everything out on the page first so that's what I'm going to be doing um yeah it's full on but once it's done it will be the biggest relief and then I can get onto my next units and I can also just sort of keep going on with my room renovation I'm really keen to just change it up a bit um i also ordered a new bed head and bed frame which is already here it's been here for a few weeks it's been sitting in my garage because i haven't been able to make it yet because i wanted to paint my wall first but then everything got pushed back so um yeah i'm very excited to do that and to show you my room once it's all finished it's currently like 14 I've been doing my assignment since like 11 I didn't eat lunch so my sister went and got me food yum and I'm still going I just want to smash this out and get as much done as possible today it's not the greatest angle of all time this is going well eh I'm currently sitting you on my drink bottle <laughs> okay so I'm currently doing my report I am almost finished which I'm so excited for oh, such a relief to just get this part out of the way currently I'm looking for another reference to back something up but oh my god I've literally been doing this all day for this whole week it's just been such a big thing it is coming along it sounds quite good 
but I could just be very delirious. Delirious? That doesn't even sound like I'm saying it correctly, because I've just been doing this all day, so who knows how it's going to come out. Um, but it's getting there, it's going, it's progressing, so that is the, the main goal. Over the top, but it is clever and you live for it. Okay, it's so Shakespeare again. I'll go way he rhymes with experience. Not gonna lie, I kinda like that he's a leopard. Over the top, but it is clever and delicious. You're the ring, you're the soul, I'm a cheek. How could I believe when your mother grabbed it in the world? I'm a meeting of a hand. Okay, I've been stuck inside all day doing my assignment. Yeah, I am not complaining, but. I'm so keen to go out of the house and play some sport. My hair is so dry at the end because it was stuck in a bun all day. Gross. I'm um, going to cover up, you know, that sticky stench with a bit of perfume. And then your girl has a lot of steam to run off. So let's go. Bye. Hi. Good morning. I am getting ready to start my day. I need to finish part two of my assignment today. Hopefully I can get it done, but first I'm going to do a little workout to get my body moving. I just put a hair mask in the bottom of my hair, just to like get rid of the dry ends. Does anyone else just put like a hair mask in the ends of their hair and just leave it in there for a little while? I'm just going to wrap it up like this, because I feel like I've been using a new shampoo because my hair has been really dry lately. Like, well, sorry, not my hair, my scalp has been really dry lately, and my hair has been like flourishing, but... The shampoo I'm using to like calm down my scalp is making my hair dry, which is really strange because you think it would do the opposite. But I guess if my scalp is producing a lot of oil, which is causing the flakiness, then it will dry out my scalp, which dries out my hair. So the ends of my hair are a little bit dry and fluffy. So I'm just putting like hair mask in there to see how it goes. And then I'm going to do like a little brief movement for my body. I'm on my peas, so... I don't want it to be too intense. I'm trying not to do too much intense exercise on my period. Like I used to train all the time on my period and I was fine. Obviously you feel very tired and you get fatigued easier, but I'm just trying to listen to my body more. And um, yeah, like I don't want to push myself into an uncomfortable state because then you don't want to work out. Like your mind's like, mm, I don't want to do that again because you know, I felt like that. And when you're in your period, you just feel like a bit more tired and I want to enjoy the work out I'm doing. I love fitness. I'm not saying I don't love fitness, but I used to do it so much when I was younger. I trained every day, running every day. And does it fly? After that fly, I just flew off. Um, I used to train a lot and I think... Now that running is trending, it's like very interesting to me because I used to do it every day and now it's like trending for people. People have finally like found it like, whoa, it's like a revelation. But anyway, <laughs> I find it so interesting. I love that people are so into it, but it's just, um, yeah, I did it for like a large portion of my life. And I think you sort of can lose interest in running. I love sport that involves running. And I do love running, but at the moment I'm finding it really hard to get back into running per se. So I'm just trying to switch up my routines, doing different workouts, and um, I'm really loving boxing. I need to go back to boxing. Boxing was so much fun. It had that endurance and that speed and just like that force and oh, it was just so fun. So I love that. But let's just stop talking. A face. I feel like when I talk about running. I think it almost has this, it's like not a trauma, but like anxiety towards it. So like whenever I go for a run, my body is like, like in focus mode. I can't just enjoy the run. Like I really have to get out of that routine of like, oh, this is like training. This is like to get a PB. This is to get better. This is to get stronger and run up, running faster. I have like this very like, um, like what's it called? Just like a, a mindset, just stuck on improving and not just doing it for fun like because running to me when I was younger was so much fun and I was good at it so then I used that and I could use like my talent and also my love for it and I would train a lot and I did go to nationals which was cool I went to nationals a few times but like you do 
when you do something like so much like over and over again that thing is no longer going to be fun and going to be passion you're not going to have passion from it the fly is back you're not going to have passion from it excuse me little fly go out the window um yeah you won't have any passion for it left if you don't focus on the like fun aspect of it or like how it makes you feel all those sort of things and when you start solely focusing on like achieving getting better um that's when also your mental health can decline because it is seriously hard being an athlete like i think they're some of the most amazing people athletes are some of the most amazing people but it really is like especially individual sports even like team sports like if you let the team down then it's on you it's individual but you really have to be so focused on what you're doing you have to have such drive which i definitely had but what um worried me it was like what would i have if i just have running like if it's not fun anymore for me if i'm just focusing solely on performance like am i doing it for myself or am i doing it to please others and to prove that i'm good enough like why was i doing it and i think um also getting injured oh my gosh injuries like all sorts of things like that just messes with your mind and also if you have so many other things that you like to do it's so hard to just stay focused on that one thing and then i feel like after you leave your sport i had this like sort of grief like I, you do grieve because it's something that you've had in your routine for majority of your life so there is a part of grieving to it and I'm just going on like a, a whole like spiel about running but it could be like with anything like this could be about anything you're going to grieve about lots of different things in your life it's not always about people it's about things and these things um, you have to sort of learn how to like adapt and you know work with that and um, who knows, I could in the future be really interested in running again. We like really miss it. Um, and like sometimes I do find myself wanting to go to the track or go somewhere and go for a run. Um, I think also the environment. See, I've grown up in this same uh, place. So if I had a different environment, I might like flourish there in running. Because you have different like areas to run. You can like... Um, explore with running like you can try new uh, cafes run to new cafes like do different bushwalks see different scenery but if you're in the same area then it's very hard to like get inspired to do do it and because when I was younger I say this all the time I'm just saying when I was younger when I was younger because um, I'm like so old right now <laughs> um, we would run I, I wrote, wrote like I ran around lots of different places where I grew up so I've sort of like not run out of places to run but I'm just like mm, yeah like I've seen that scenery before or I've been there before like I'm sure I could find some places but that's a future nap thing to do and if I'm just forcing myself to actually do it then it's not going to be enjoyable I'm just putting on my ultraviolet sunscreen I don't think I'll put on much on my face I'm just gonna put that on. I put a little bit of these golden Emco drops like before just to give my face a little glow. But yeah, like you definitely grow a lot from when you're at school and you're also in that environment where that environment where you're sort of like put into a category and it might not be evident, but like I was sporty um, and that's sort of what I took on. I took on that like persona because I was sporty, like, I love sports so much, um, and so you sort of, like, gravitate towards that, and you're like, okay, I have this, so this is me, and then you don't think of, like, other aspects of yourself, and I'm not saying I did this, because I did focus on the arts as well, but you do, like, think, oh, well, I have this, I'm good at this, so, like, that's what I'll do, and then you sort of leave school, and you're like, is this going to be something that is sustainable? Like, do I want to put all this pressure on this, like, one thing? Because if it doesn't work out, like, yes, I've tried, which is, like, such an amazing, beautiful thing. You tried 
to do this and I feel like in Australia lots of people aren't rewarded for trying because of tall poppy syndrome. Um, lots of people try and push your dreams down because they're uh, insecure or upset about their own lives which is such a sad thing because if in Australia we built each other up we would be such a stronger nation and I feel like small businesses would flourish so much more. I don't know why I'm going on this massive spill. It's just like a brain dump for you. How exciting. Um, so I'm going to put like a, a fit on. I don't really have like lots of gym. A whole like, you know, wardrobe. So many people have so many wardrobes. And like, so like much gym wear. Like, that would be pretty cool having all those things to pick from. But I've literally had the same workout clothes for like so many years. And I think, like, I think that's great um because i look after myself but yeah it's so tempting to just buy more gym wear to just look cute that's the only reason people are buying it is to look cute and feel cute and feel good in their self which i love but it's this it's like it's it's expensive it's uh yeah it's not cheap um so i'm gonna go into a fit and do a little and I'll see you after that. I actually need to eat something too. I always forget to eat. Like, my mind is just like ticking away. Tick, tick, tick. And then I'm like hungry and I'm just ignoring it. So, yeah. I don't know. That's a sign of something. What do I want to say? No, it's not ADHD. I don't think it is. I think it's just... I get caught up in what I'm doing passionate and then I also don't feel like looking in the pantry and figuring out what I want to eat like it's actually a mission anyway let's go I don't know what day it is right now. I feel like I've lost count on the days, but I am almost finished my assignment. It is way over the word limit, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. I've completely destroyed and demolished this milky bar bunny. Um, I think I deserve it, honestly. Um, I can't wait till this assignment is done because it's actually, it's just infuriating. So they've written their assignment up, but the assignment is different to the rubric how good how good is that like the rubric has extra things in it that you have to include in the assignment and I know you should just go by the rubric because that's what they're gonna be like like grading you on but uh, they need to make sure they line up because it's just so frustrating when they tell you one thing and then the rubric tells you another thing and then the assignment tells you another thing and the word limit is so minuscule. Anyway, I'm just having the biggest rant about this assignment. I think they really need to look at how they're writing their assignments because this is literally an English class. Like they've literally written a book. The student has written a book. So if she was like looking at the assignment and then looking at the rubric, she'd be like, oh, we're missing like this component in the assignment and this component. Like, do they do that to trick you so that you don't do well? So that they can be like, oh, well, in the rubric it says this, but in the assignment it says another thing. So, and then I'm seeing so many TikToks about teachers leaving the profession. And I'm just like, ah, I work in a school and that is literally, I see that all the time. And I'm literally starting to be a teacher and it's just so not motivating seeing how many TikTokers are like, Oh, I've been in the job two years, like teachers. I've been in the job two years and I'm leaving. I'm like, I understand you. I know why. Like, it's so relatable because I'm not even a teacher and working at a school is so draining. 
it's so draining for multiple reasons. Um, I absolutely love teaching. I love it. And I love being with kids and like working with them and helping them to achieve their goals. But <sighs> when you're trying to do an assignment on teaching and then you're like seeing that on social media, it's just like, Anyway, let's get this done. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna get it done. And yeah, I gotta keep going because I might as well just get through this and I'll have a teacher's degree. Not straight after this assignment, I've got many to come. <laughs> but wow, Waza, anything you do, you're gonna have, it's gonna be hard. And having it doesn't mean I have to do it as a career. I keep telling myself that. It doesn't need to be my job every day. I just need to have that work-life balance. And work cannot take up 90% of my life, which teaching pretty much does. So I just need to figure out how I'm going to do that and do other things as well. But, you know, having it is going to be good. It's currently 11 o'clock. Um, I tried to get it down as much as I can in the word limit. I think the word limit is just honestly not enough. Like, to, to how much information they want me to say, it's just like, I don't know, it's crazy. But we're going to submit it. It is over the word limit. But, you know, it's better than not having enough. Um... I just wanna submit it. I'm already in my pajamas without a shower. Let's submit it here. Let me just check if we can submit it as a PDF or if we can't. Okay, so let's save it as a PDF. Um, I just submitted it. Yay! I love how when you submit something, you just like close everything, like all your tabs that has everything to do with what you were just doing because you're just over it. Never to be seen again. <laughs> no, I'll definitely use lots of the readings again, but wow, who knows how I'll go. I know that I am over the word limit, um, but we will see. Honestly, just want to pass, so I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I definitely want to do better than a pass, but my goal, one of my goals is just to pass and not to like focus so hard on getting the best grade at possible, just passing would be nice because then I can do other things as well. Anyway, it's time to sleep. My bed is currently facing the window, so I just have like my light down here because I'm still painting my wall, which I'm gonna do some more painting tomorrow. Um, but yeah, time to hop into bed. Hope you all had a beautiful day or night, wherever you may be, full of little things that make you smile. And I will see you tomorrow for boxing nice and early. Huh? My, my skin is glowing. It looks so clean. I've been using a new moisturizer, so maybe I'll show you that tomorrow. But she's looking good. I wasn't sure about this moisturizer to begin with. And now I'm, I'm loving it. I think my skin is adapting to it. But yeah, good night. Is the moisturizer that I was talking about last night it's called Pond's dry skin cream face moisturizer facial moisturizer like I thought it was actually drying out my face a little bit but I think my face was just sort of adapting to the moisturizer so sleepy I could not sleep last night 
I was nervous about my assignment being over, so I might see if I can try and resubmit it and try and get it down even further. But I just like it, it's really like tight, it's like hard to get down any further without losing marks and not including everything that's in the rubric. Anyway, I could not sleep. Fresh face, let's go to boxing. Oh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> that looks so funny, I look so tiny. Yeah. If I stand like here. Oh yeah, I could jump in here. Hang on. I need to be further back, I think. Yeah, like. Did you bring that? Oh. <laughs> Almost. I cut I cut your legs off. Yeah. You gotta put your head in though. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Wait, now you gotta aim it down, you ready? I'm not that short though. I'm not, I mean, taking my head off. Yeah, I'm taking my head off. Taking your head off, yeah. Ready? Wait, no, hold on, I'll go. Hang on, I Oh, here we go, I got it. No, go back, go back. Ready? Can I jump in place? <laughs> yeah. Jump! Ready? Go one more, one more time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you putting me off? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. So, jump onto your hands. Yeah, jump onto my hands. Ready? Okay. Uh, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's on my hands. You're gonna look down at me, otherwise it look funny. <laughs> You're weird looking. Whoa. <laughs> This is the greatest outfit of all time. Mm. <laughs> it's like a 90s, 90s. Gorgeous. Freaking cute it is. You own it, you rock it. <laughs> cool. <sighs> do we do this part here? Uh, I might with just, the paintbrush? Do I might just get a little bit closer with the roller. Yeah. Is there paint on the roller? I put a little, there's like not much. I'm looking buff. What's that like? I'm looking buff. Yeah. My abs, abs be popping. Probably could go another touch up around the outside, but we can do that another time. I think it's. Well, whereabouts shall move with the brush? Like it's not perfect, but it's okay. Like here. I think it's gonna look perfect, like yeah. until it dries. Yeah, we'll leave it. Good job, let's go wash up. 
So, do you want to take which part? Do you want to take the tray? I don't, I don't know, is it? Whichever, what's the hardest part? I'll do the hardest part. The tray. Okay. And then we'll wash it. Take this down then. satisfying this is so cool ah. <laughs> so good grew up in the same neighborhood taking my old band apart as you can't so see Get it out of her 